everybody. Welcome to Kara's Kitchen. Uh, today As you see here, we have a whole chicken. It's about five pounds. And I'm going to prepare this chicken to be roasted. So to roast the chicken, the way I like to do it is um, I like the chicken to lay completely flat. And the way that you do that is you spatchcock the chicken. What is spatchcocking, you ask? I can show you. What we're gonna do is cut the back out of the chicken. So I have the chicken laying on the breast part of the chicken. And so we have the back up here. So what I'll do is take these, take my shears and I'm going to cut down the side, both sides of this, of the back, and then take that out and then flip it over. And then this breastbone right here on the chicken, I'm gonna press down on it and it's gonna crack and that'll split and then the chicken will lay flat. And it cooks faster and more evenly and you don't have the issue of, well, you know, the breast is gonna dry out or this, piece, this part of the chicken is gonna cook faster than this other part of the chicken. So now before I cook a chicken, especially a whole chicken, I like to brine my chicken first. So what I did yesterday, I uh, brined the chicken in salt and water. And that's basically all you need. Now you can add other flavors to it, but what you're doing when you're brining is you're adding flavor into the meat and it also helps to keep the meat moist while it's cooking. So I did that yesterday and so today I pulled the chicken out of the brine, rinsed it off, and so now it's ready to be spatchcocked. Okay, I, I want to tell you about these shears. Okay, so we bought these shears and it had just the regular plastic handles on it. But one day, I think it was Steven, was cutting the back out of a turkey for me. And he broke the handle because it was so hard to cut. So Steven, his ingenuity, he went out to his wood shop and he made a handle for my shears and it works just perfectly. So I'm gonna take these shears and I'm going to cut down each side of this backbone and starting from the back of the chicken. Now, if you can't find it, you, can just, you just kind of have to feel your way. Okay, so we have the backbone cut out of the chicken and you don't want to throw this away because you can use this if you want if you're going to make soup or if you want to make some chicken broth. Um, what I usually do is I take any leftover scraps, bones or anything out of a chicken or scrap vegetables and I put it in a uh, Ziploc freezer bag and I put it in the freezer next time I want to make uh, some broth or something then I've got stuff in the freezer I could just pour it in the pot so we'll put this aside okay so you see here we have the back part cut out of the chicken so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I'm going to bring this out and you want to look feel for the breastbone. Now this is, you have to take a lot of pressure to do this. Okay, so just to check it, I'm going to flip it back over and see if that bone broke. And if it didn't, then I can just take these and just crack it. There it goes. 
Okay. So, as you can see, the chicken is laying flatter. So the legs are out like this, and you have the breast, both of them are laying flat. So that is how you spatchcock a chicken.